Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn about is learning Python mandatory for data engineers? So that is the question frequently I am hearing from lot of subscribers and also in the comments. So my in my opinion, uh, it's actually not strictly mandatory, but it is highly recommended. The reason uh, why it is highly recommended is uh, I we will be discussing in the upcoming slides. Uh, but indirectly it's like mandatory only right not strictly mandatory but highly recommended so you can think like mandatory only because if you want to grow in data engineering it is must to have okay many things are dependent on the python language okay so if you see this slide why python is important for data engineers a uh, couple of reasons i have tried to list it down here uh, one is uh, obviously it's a industry standard it's a m most widely used language for the data engineers and data science people uh, uh, because of the simplicity and versatility of this language uh, so it is must to have uh, the data processing libraries right so when you are working as a data engineer you need to process large amount of data regularly right and uh, that means obviously you need some technology that helps you to process that data in Python, there are so many libraries which are very efficient to process the large amount of data sets. That means, uh, for example, like a Pandas, PySpark. This helps uh, in a very efficient way to handle the large amount of data sets. And these libraries are available in Python. So that means it's actually needed, right? So Python is needed for the data engineers. The next point is integration with big data tools. Uh, we have so many big data tools and cloud providers, uh, Hadoop, Spark, these are the big data tools, helps you to transform the data and uh, the cloud services like Azure, Amazon, GCP. So these services also helps you to store the data, big data and everything, right? So when you, when you want to work with all these big data tools or cloud services, obviously you need Python because all these services has an integration capability for the Python language. So if you know the Python language, you can write a code easily in Python to integrate with these tools like Hadoop, Spark or any cloud services, Amazon, Azure, GCP. The next point is automation and scripting. So when you work on a data engineering project, uh, you need to uh, perform the data validations and you need to perform the monitoring stuff like how your whole pipeline is running, any data is getting corrupted. So that kind of is automation scripts, you can write it in Python very easily because of the simplicity of the language. And obviously the career growth, that means uh, whenever you see any resume uh, for data engineers, uh, most of the job descriptions uh, uh, mention that uh, Python is mandatory for them, for that role to apply. So career growth will be good. So these are all the major pointers which will uh, tell us indirectly that Python is very much important for data engineers. It's almost like a mandatory thing. Now, is Python is the only language or anything else for the data engineers? The answer is no. Python is not only language. There are other languages like SQL, Java, and Scala. Even that is important, especially the SQL. Uh, because uh, you need SQL uh, to query the data, uh, to data like, like maybe SQL database system or any other database system. You need the SQL language skills there. Even in PySpark, you can, you can write a PySQL, Py which is equals to SQL, almost, okay? Uh, so Java and Scala are also helpful for you, uh, but uh, when you know Python, you don't need them, okay? But SQL plus Python, both are important. Uh, if you see this slide here, I listed a couple of examples, which uh, a sample scenarios, which we encounter in data engineering projects, there you will use a Python. For example, if you see the first one, reading a CSV file, maybe that means reading some file. So as I said, Pandas library will be available. You can see I'm using a Pandas library here to read a CSV file. So that is a very common scenario, which will end up when you are working on a data engineering projects. And uh, when you know Python, it is easy for you use the pandas library and do that stuff for you and the next scenario if you observe closely which is connecting with the database obviously you will end up with a lot of need to connect to the database maybe sql or sqlite so there are a couple of libraries for that to you do that and in this example you see that a python code is cutting connecting with a sqlite right and the another third example what i have listed is here it's about a uh, maybe a 
ETL pipeline to write in Python itself. Uh, simply extract data from somewhere, transform it, and load it somewhere else. If you see here, I am extracting data from the sales.csv file using a pandas library, and I am transforming the data. Maybe I am I am taking that amount color where the value amount column where value is greater than thousand. I am filtering that data. That means I am basically a transforming data there. And the transformed data, I am loading it into something called high sales.csv file. All this code, if you see, I have written in a Python. So that means, see, I'm I'm able to develop a sample ETL using a Python language. And 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 the final thing, if you see here, uh, this example is talking about the uh, PySpark example. Uh, PySpark comes in Databricks and Synapse, even in Fabric. This PySpark actually helps you to perform the transformations on the big data, reading some files and uh, uh, and maybe transforming something there. So this PySpark comes with the PySpark. Uh, the Spark comes with the PySpark library, uh, which is again uh, you can write a code in a Python language as you are seeing on the screen right now. So Python is almost pretty much getting used in every scenario. What you end up with uh, writing in in data engineering projects. So it is obviously very important uh, or highly recommended or almost mandatory to know the Python skill in data engineering guys. Uh, so the conclusion is yes, it is highly recommended for data engineering. So please go ahead and uh, try to learn it. You can learn the Python uh, language uh, from my first studies YouTube channel itself, uh, which is very much simple, simple Simplified version of the Python. Easily you can learn from the Python playlist in Wafa Studies YouTube channel. Please go ahead and watch that. That's it in this video. If you like this video, give like and subscribe to this channel. And also mention in the comments uh, what you feel good about this video or any other new topic you want to suggest. Please go ahead and provide your comments there. I will pick those topics for the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.